The U.S. Department of Transportation approved Indiana's plan for electric vehicle chargers in the state, despite concerns about equity. But as Indiana Public Broadcasting's Rebecca Thiel reports, members of a state equity alliance say they're disappointed, but not discouraged. The announcement came just one day after communities in Gary and Indianapolis met with the DOT. They worry the state's current plan might not benefit black and brown neighborhoods, businesses, or workers. Barbara Bowling Williams is the president of the Indiana NAACP, which is part of the Indiana Alliance for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion for Electric Vehicle Infrastructure and Economic Opportunities. She says she's hopeful that the alliance's recommendations will be implemented. Not only will the alliance continue to watch what they do, but that the federal government, too, is watching exactly what they do. Scott Manning is the deputy chief of staff with the Indiana Department of Transportation. He says Indiana's plan will be updated and resubmitted to the federal government annually, and that the alliance and other stakeholders' thoughts will likely factor into those updates. But Manning says DOT's approval speaks to the work INDOT has done so far. Those charging stations and the benefits uh, really touch every region of the state. So I think we have a plan and locations that are well thought out that speak to what's been uh, required of us. Though this first award is for $36 million, Indiana is expected to receive a total of $100 million over the next five years. It's not clear failing to address equity concerns could jeopardize future awards. We are now joined by Indiana Public Broadcasting's Environment and Energy Issues reporter Rebecca Thiel for more on this story. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So the Biden administration has made environmental justice a, a big issue. Is this kind of what precipitated this initiative? That's right. Uh, Biden's Justice 40 initiative says that basically 40 percent of the benefits from climate-friendly improvements like EV chargers have to go to disadvantaged communities. So groups like the Alliance want the government to put its money where its mouth is. So how do they define a disadvantaged community? That's the problem. Mm -hmm. The federal government left that pretty vague. So it's really up to the states to interpret it how they see fit. Um, so that can mean black, indigenous people of color, those communities that can mean low income communities that can mean folks who have less access to transit like rural areas. So there wasn't a lot of um, leeway there. So it but it's important to point out that um, people of color have suffered some of the most harm from pollution from cars. So the alliance really wants to see those folks get those benefits. So, that, you know, this money is for creating a nationwide network of these EV chargers so that people feel safe going out. I mean, you don't want to be stranded, right? Right. But this would also affect the route these people will take, too, depending on where these EV chargers are. Right. So you would want to see those along interstates. You know, if you go from New York to California, you're going to take those major roadways. So that's really important that that's where those are placed. Um, right now, we have a rough idea from NDOT of where those chargers will be, um, but not specific locations. You know, we don't know if those are going to be at gas stations, restaurants, shopping centers, and that's really what's going to matter to people like the Alliance and folks like those gas stations that want to see these EV chargers on their property. I will mention that there is another funding program coming out from DOT for community chargers, so chargers in neighborhoods but that's not as much money as this program, and we don't know what the requirements will be like. So we'll really have to see if groups like the Alliance will be happy with those funding programs as well. So can all electric cars use these chargers? They should be able to, um, except for possibly Tesla. And also you have to be able to DC fast charge, uh, fast charge your car anyway. But if you can, then you should be good to go. All right, thanks, we're out of time, appreciate it. Thank you.